Hey everybody, this is Joe from His Prayers, and uh, we're here in Washington, Arkansas, as known as Washington Post. Uh, this dates back around the early 1820s. Uh, we're here, no other than a lot of history here of uh, Washington, Arkansas, and this is like a living history. A lot of people kind of portrays of uh, what happened here in Washington, Arkansas. So uh, right now, not only the heritage and the uh, the history here in Washington, Arkansas, but we're here to uh, to know the history of the uh, Trail of Tears, and this is the Trail of Tears, um, the actual road that we're walking on right now in Washington, Arkansas, heading towards uh, Fort Towson. So, but. Uh, this road actually all the way heads up towards Dardanelle State Park, Little Rock. And uh, going uh, east, it's heading towards Camden and into uh, Lake Village and that area. So there was two routes that's coming through Washington up uh, from north, uh, northeast and from east and southeast intersecting right here in Washington, Arkansas. So as you see, the traffic here going from, I believe, from south, uh, east, east, southeast, to uh, west, northwest, or just west, and uh, this one's looking possibly uh, north, northeast. So you got the uh, intersection right here, and a section right there. That's where the Trail of Tears route, the Choctaws, and of course the Chickasaws, came along through this route. David Folsom and his party came along this route right here as uh, some others came along in this route coming from here along here now I don't believe this road is the actual route but I believe it's on the other side I don't think there was a road back back in the days of 1830 but this road is the actual Trail of Tears route heading towards Fort Towson and Dokesville So Washington is a good spot for the Choctaws as they came in from Camden and of course they stayed here for for a little while not not nothing like a month like in Camden but they stayed here for a few days <clears throat> to have food the people here in Washington took well care of the Choctaws that was coming through and they knew there was coming in so the, the soldiers military that was bringing them in and of course the Choctaws so they bathed them they, they helped them they need Whatever their needs are, they, they do a lot for the Choctaws that was here. Especially the loved ones that passed on here in Washington. I believe they buried them in their cemetery, I believe. I'm not sure. But if it is, it's unmarked. But again, the, the Washington Post here in Arkansas did a lot of things for the Choctaws. With David Fuls Colonel David Folsom and his party and a few others as well. So anyway, so here's some of the history of... Uh, the Choctaws that came in Washington, and this is a very one of the importance for the Washington, uh, or importance for the Choctaws here in Washington. So again, uh, we're grateful for Washington. Uh, always like coming here. There's a lot of history here. We'll probably show you more of the history of uh, Washington. And there's the route back over here. Um, uh, you can still see the word depression, but there's a road going through it. But uh, of course, that's the trail. We're going. To, um, I'll take you there, and then we'll go from there. All right.
Well, I hope you enjoy some of the history of uh, Washington and about the Trail of Tears that came along through the uh, Washington Post, Arkansas. And of course, uh, there's a lot of history here, but I think the mainly ones I want to talk is about the Trail of Tears that came through here. And again, uh, we appreciate Washington in those days helping the Choctaws that came through here uh, on the knees that they need like supplies and help them with a lot of stuff that they need to, you know, for their for their sake, you know. So anyway, I hope you enjoy again on uh, on this post. Uh, remember, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And before I uh, end here, I want to show you something that's very interesting. We're on the uh, west end of Washington Post. And of course, there's some old houses here. And uh, wow, they're pretty amazing. So I'll, I'll let y'all look before I end here. I guess you could say this will be part of the bonus clip. <laughs> this is the Monroe House. Just a quarter of a mile west of, would have been the center part of Washington. This was built in 1855. Monroe House. Now we're going to the Brunson house, just across the way from the Monroe house. Isn't that amazing? It's a pretty nice home. I believe these caused dandelions. No, I take that back. Uh, daisies. I'm not really good of, of uh, naming flowers, but you can see these all across the way and stuff. And you know, when they have these type of flowers, there's usually a home site nearby, church or a school. So this is the Brenton house, built in 1860. And this possibly would have been like the old wagon road. And my horse. I'm kidding. <laughs> and right over here in the section would have been the military road that was leading to uh, from Little Rock to Fort Towson. And of course, I was telling you about the intersection, the two ways, one from Little Rock coming this way and the other one coming from uh, the east, southeast um, of uh, the Trail of Tears route in this area. So anyway, there's your, I guess you can call a bonus section. So again, hope you enjoy uh, this uh, about Washington Park, and uh, we may come back out and finish more about the Trail of Tears and maybe a little bit of history, and uh, maybe I can get with the director, Billy Nation, maybe he can tell us more about uh, Washington Post. So anyway, as we say in Choctaw, Chapizalajiki, and we shall see you on the next. <laughs>